to your fan. Oh, she means business. Hey everyone, Joel Hanser. Welcome to a very special episode of the Joel Hanser Show, where we eat way too much food at great restaurants. You know what we do. So here we go, guys. Here we are at Box Marley's, guys. We're talking Waterloo, Ontario, to have some real authentic Jamaican cuisine. You guys wanted Jamaican food. I'm delivering Jamaican food. And in fact, you can also get takeout and food delivered here. So I guess that kind of works out. So what we got, guys, I have some delicious signature all dressed Jamaican wings. I got a dumpling. I got a festival, Jamaican style. I have oxtails, I got ackee and salt fish. I have some delicious, look at spicy jerk chicken. I have curry chicken, curry goat. I have a signature right here, guys. We got a jerk chicken shawarma, which looks delicious, plantains and all. Oh, oh yeah. I have a spicy Jamaican patty, some jerk salmon, and some macaroni salad. So what we gonna do, we gonna eat. I'm excited, I'm ready. So let's dive on in, let's try all this stuff. It's really my first time having a lot of these items. I've never had ackee salt fish, never had oxtail, never had jerk salmon. Um, yeah, so let's eat some food. Best place to start, hmm, that is a great question. I'm probably gonna start with a couple of these chicken wings, all dressed Jamaican. So like I said, they're known for their wings here. Oh wow. Nice bit of sweetness. Nice bit of spice. Also really like acidity. The way to describe this is like a jerk seasoning and their house-made barbecue sauce. Very warm spices. It kind of resembles like a jerk chicken in a way. But it has a nice acidity to it. Kind of reminds me of like a, like an all-dressed potato chip. All-dressed Jamaican. It makes sense. No complaint. It's actually really, really good. What would recommend? I just got the one order. That's sizable, that's for sure. I like that a lot. Try the other things here. I think I'm gonna hop to that jerk salmon. I like salmon. I got it without a side. Normally you can get it with like beans, rice. Jerk salmon. I really like their jerk flavor too. Has a really, really like Nice spice to it, nice tang. They're definitely repping some of that scotch bonnet. Let's see what else we got. Try an oxtail. So I've never had oxtail before. How do you eat this? Just my hands? Do I use a fork? A fork and a knife? I'm gonna use my hands. Ooh! Okay, I can work with this. That's delicious. So how is this normally? Is it like served on something? Normally on rice and peas. The rice with the chicken that you see there. I can mix it up. The gravy's really nice. Oxtail and rice. Okay. Very savory, 
a really nice hearty beef flavor, like a deep beef flavor, something you'd see in like a ribeye steak. I'm still using my hands, I don't care guys. Look at that. Just succulent, soft braised oxtail. Ooh, beautiful bits of fat in there. You know, for the record, not a big rice person, that tastes even good with rice. So I can see why people would get that. And that damn gravy though, that liquid, the sauce it's in, holy jumpers. Oh, just look at it. If it'll work, just look at it. Beautiful, succulent. I'm probably gonna be covered in this stuff by the end of it, but. Soft as butter. I like it. I like it. Recently, I think it was my good friend Nate and Miss Serenity. They were talking about me and oxtails. So shout out to both y'all. Here I'm eating oxtails. And you're right, I like it. It's very good. Gotta navigate that bone though. No complaints. Let's try this gravy. Ooh. Rich. Savory. Good beef flavor. I might come back to it when I eat the rest of that rice. Well, one thing I learned today, oxtails taste great. And you can eat them with your hands. No shame. No shame. All right. I dig. I like oxtail. Shout out oxtails. Shout out Jamaican. All right, we got so many options here now. I'm probably gonna crank into this good old spicy jerk chicken. What's cool about it is they not only cook it and season it, they de, they like dunk it again. Excuse me, right before you get it. Oh. Oh yeah. That is some succulent, juicy, delicious taste of chicken right there. Oh, I just bit my cheek. But the chicken tastes better than my cheek. I'll tell you that much. I like this a lot. I mess with this. The chicken's really moist. And it's a really great flavor. I went with the spicy. And this, I'm definitely getting a little bit of heat. Get your heart going in the morning. And your lips burning. Still no shame. Finger licking good, so they say. If they don't say it, I just said it. Woo. Yeah, he's building a little bit. Paquito. Paquito picante. All right, y'all. So, crank some of this rice. I mean, it's good. I have no complaints. But you know what's gonna make it better? Gravy pour. Woo! Look at that. Look at that. Just look at it. Alright. Oxtail gravy. This is the thing. Putting all that rice. Oh. Oh. Game changer. That beef. Holy crap. 
so succulent, so rich. Just look at the way it glistens and shines. Love it. You get this plantain, we like this plantain, candy plantain. You can see the brown sugar right on that bean. bean. Oh. I do. All right, let's get some uh, curry goat action going on. Curry goat. You get another thing which has bones in it. So I think I'm gonna resort to my hands. Oh. I dig. Very curry. Very soft. With that goat, you're having to get some of that like darker tones of meat. Probably remind a lot of people kind of like a pork in a way. Again, another something probably normally served on rice. For the sake of not eating 3,000 dishes of rice, I skipped the rice. But the rice can be yours. So if you want it, go get it. The world is yours. Insert, just do it, or something along those lines. Got some little bits of potatoes in here too to go. It's good. No complaints. Shout out Curry Go. Alright. Next is a dish I've never tried before. And I'm gonna have to use my professional consultant right here. Aki and salt fish. So Aki, from my understanding, is a vegetable. Salt fish is salt fish. What do you expect? So you said people dip a dumpling in this, is that right? Yeah, it's a fried dumpling. So this one? Yes. Okay, we got Jamaican fried dumpling here. It's a good size. It's like pretty good size. Alright, so I dip this so in I here. Rip it apart. Rip it apart. Okay, looks like a biscuit. Looks like a biscuit. I dig. Alright. Next step. Maybe smaller if you like and then you can dip. Make it smaller if I like. I have a big mouth, luckily, so let's just do it. And I dip it in. Do I try to get like some of the liquids yeah, I in? A okay. So we went from dipping to using a spoon to plop it on the dumpling. Something like that? Yeah, or you can bite and eat. Bite and eat. Okay, oh, mix in the mouth. I like yeah. that. So we'll do both. So we got our dumpling. And that. Hold up. You know, the best way to put that, it's a beautifully salty, delicate fish tasting dish with a biscuit. That reminds me like a southern biscuit. You know, guys know how I feel about the south. I love the south. Mm. They're a national fruit. Aki, national fruit. Never you learn. Yeah, that's good. Not what I was expecting. I was, I was like, when I heard salt fish, I was, I don't want to say, you know, a little eerie of it being like really, really salty and fishy. Cause I've had some salt fish, like salt cotton stuff in my life. And that stuff will kill you, kill you with how salty it is. This is really nice. I dig this. Drop like. It's a magic trick. Except they see where it goes. It goes in the mouth. I did. Yeah, that's really good with that dumpling. Cheers. Aki and salt fish. But yeah, that dumpling reminds me of a biscuit. Lucky I can laugh at myself. Yeah. 
All right, um, we got jerk chicken shawarma. This is a exclusive and unique dish. So I'm just gonna come to the professional again, besides the plantains here, and onions and tomatoes. What do I have in here? We've got your boneless jerk chicken boneless. chopped up shawarma side. Yeah, I hear them chopping back there. Chop, mm -hmm. cut it, yeah. cut it, Over cut it. Over rice and peas. Over rice and peas. Mango tahini, scotch bonnet mayo. Mango tahini and a scotch bonnet mayo. All right, Dave. Let's try this. Yeah, I got some nice sauce on that action. Mango tahini. I'm very curious what that's going to be like. Well, I hate to break it to you folks, but it's like mango and tahini in the best way possible. That is super unique. So it reminds me of like that shawarma flavor of Middle Eastern cuisine. But it has this sweetness. Damn. And then you got like those warm spices of that jerk chicken. I can dig. I can dig. Wow. I was not expecting that. This is good. It's nice and rich too. So I'm gonna probably try to incorporate some of these onions, some of these tomates. And this is probably gonna be a really encompassing mouthfeel and a flavor. Get some of that acidity. That onion. And the richness of that mango tahini. Tahini sauce, tahini sauce. Not tahini, it's very good. I spent too much time in Mexico, but tahini's on my mind. Tahini. Okay. Definitely a unique dish. I would definitely recommend trying it. I'm not going to find this anywhere else. So it's a mix between like Middle Eastern and Caribbean. That tahini though, that is very interesting. Mango tahini. I like it a lot. I have the rice, peas, the rice and beans underneath. It's a good mixture. Shout out Diet Coke. Not sponsoring me, but should you feel, should you like to, Coke, please feel free. My contact info is down below. By the way, also, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook so you don't miss me when I come to your city. Info also down below in that description. Chemicals. This is delicious. This is a huge dish. So I'm going to try to get everything else. I'm going to do that. And maybe we'll come back to this. I like it. I don't think it's should cold. So. Luckily, I don't have to worry about getting cold. So, Jamaican jerk patty. Spicy one. I don't even know, like, what's in this? Beef. Beef. I bet I fit about half of that in my mouth. <laughs> Let's find out. Do you think half? Quarter? Three quarters. Three quarters? I don't know what you Three wrote. quarters? Jeez, oh. like, three. <laughs> With what you we must, must think I'm a fucking hippo or something. I'll try. Can I fold it? Does that count or is that cheating? Cheating. Okay. Uh, let's try this. The worry, the worry is the width. Ugh. Yeah, things I do, guys. Hold on, let me burp first. Try to burp. This can take some serious effort. Ugh. All right, so let's see, guys. Big Jamaican patty. Now there's people thinking three quarters. I don't know, let's give it a try. So, get your heads out of the gutter, folk. This is all for entertainment. I wasn't expecting it to fit. 
I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But here, this might take me a minute. All right. <coughs> the harder thing was not getting in there. It was chewing and eating it once it's in there. She said none of those things. I hope. Oh, all right. Where were we now? All right, yeah, that, that even scared me. I thought I had a big mouth, but that really shocked me. I was saying like half that thing. Hard hamster, guys. Hard hamster. All right. Back to whatever. Where were we? Macaroni salad, that's right. Just hit some macaroni salad. With some scotch bonnet peppers in it. That's a nice kick. Those noodles are El Dante. I almost get like a Mediterranean vibe from these, from this dressing. With that scotch bonnet heat. Bringing it back to Jamaica. Nice richness. This would be really good mixed with some, probably like the oxtail or something. I think the oxtail, the oxtail gravy, this macaroni salad would be an excellent combo. Kind of get like a loco boco thing going. Shout out Hawaii. That's delicious. Oh, I'll tell you what, people, I'm filling up. And we still got to try a few things, so I'll be back. I'll be back. Down below if you know where that movie goes from. Alright, next we have the Sweet Dumpling. The festival. So my professional consultant, how is this normally eaten? Uh, again, just on the side of some dishes so you, you don't get it break it up and eat it. Ooh, kind of smells like a donut. Kind of like a donut? It has a little bit of cornmeal in it, so. Mm. Fried dough. Now, in a way, it almost reminds me of like a churro. Just get like that sweet vibes, give it a little bit of cornmeal vibe, give it like a bit of a grit, a bit of texture. Really nice 3D crunch on it. Let me exemplify. Woo. And to my table. I dig. All right, last item I haven't tried, the curry chicken. Then we pretty much had it all, guys. Gotta try pretty much everything in a shot. Pretty much, not quite everything, but pretty much everything. They have a lot of vegan options and varieties as well, but I think people know my stand on that. Animals are the best food ever, and I love animals. I am a true animal lover. They taste great. What can I say? So let's try this curry chicken. I'm about to pop. Had a lot of food. Had a lovely, lovely, huge challenge here. Down below, check out that comment. You can watch it yourself. See if I can eat it. Hopefully, I eat it. Maybe I didn't eat it. All right, excuse me. Curry chicken, got potatoes in here as well. Very similar to the curry goat. Except this is a very soft chicken. Again, a little bit of richness, a little bit of sweetness, saltiness. And kind of like, again, I got, say like a Middle Eastern kind of style of spice. But I'm sure it also go very good on rice. But those oxtails and gravy, those oxtails and rice is damn good. Everybody, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna call it there. I'm gonna try everything. I have to be productive today, so I don't want to eat too much. So, everybody, hope you enjoyed this video. I finally got to try Jamaican food, Jamaican cuisine. So, thank you everybody for the recommendations. Hit that like button there, guys. Let me know if you like this video. I really appreciate it. it keeps me going, it keeps me bringing you quality content. So, everybody, huge thanks to Box Marley's. Great food, great people, great staff. No complaints. It's super quick. It's great food. What I would recommend today, guys, is oxtails. Very, very delicious. 
these all dressed Jamaican chicken wings. Exceptional. Taki and salt fish, loved it. And also the probably most unique dish, the jerk chicken shawarma. Super cool fusion item. Love the combination, really loved everything. So everybody, until next time, hope you enjoy it. Stay happy all the hungry, happy eating. Just come get yourself some food, but just you don't have to eat all this much in one sitting. This could take you a week, it's totally okay. So everybody, hope you enjoyed. Much love. Until next time, have a lovely day. Dang now the cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So everybody, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said guys, hit that subscribe, hit one of these videos, do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.